Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Novaspear Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to show you one command to install Arch Linux. So let's get started. So before this script, I was always installing Arch Linux manually through configuring the F disk and then installing the operating system and then installing all the packages that it needs to get Arch Linux up and running on desktop which is fine and dandy. I mean, you learn a lot from doing that, but the problem is you also often miss a lot of things. So sometimes I miss cups, which is for printers, or I'll miss pulse audio. It's just a bunch of things that you end up forgetting to do after you installed it. So this one command that I'm showing you is an actual script that came from Arch Linux to actually install Arch Linux to your desktop. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Now I'm gonna be doing this on my virtual machine, which is a lot much easier than pulling up a desktop and doing everything else. So the concept is exactly the same. You just boot into the ISO image. I do have the ISO that I downloaded from Arch Linux. So let's see, if I head over to download, I basically have this same image that you could download over here onto my uh, Proxmox. Now, I'm also gonna show you, this is what I used to do. This, These are the commands, maybe 20, 30 commands on getting the system up and running, mounting the disk and installing some sort of desktop. And I'm even with this, I'm still missing a bunch of stuff. So let's pop into it and see what this does. I'm gonna run through every single command so you guys know what to change and what properties you need. But ultimately, nothing much has changed from there. So here we have the main boot up from the ISO. I'm actually going to pop into this console itself. I think it's control shift 11. Yeah, there you go. Full screen that. And here we have Arch Linux Medium. Pop into that. And the overall install honestly takes about three minutes, depending on what packages you're installing. So I'm going to be installing a full desktop uh, along with a bunch of other stuff to get it actually like a desktop. So it usually takes for me around two to three minutes. Now, after you boot up, all you need to do is as simple as this, type in arch install. Now, if you don't have ethernet like I do have plugged in, you could go through the wireless, which is IWCLT, it's named up on top over there, and NMCLI. You could use those to get connected to Wi-Fi first, but if you have ethernet installed like I do, you could just type in arch install, that is it. It'll bring you to the menu to get everything all done up in one shot. The first option is language. So we have English over here. Keyboard layout is US, mirror region. I'm gonna hit enter. And then I'm gonna go to United States. So it's all the way in the bottom. Space bar to highlight it, put that asterisk and then enter to confirm. It's gonna automatically move down the list. So right now it was on mirror region. Now it's on language. So it's gonna automatically go down. I'm gonna keep it in English. I'm gonna keep it also in UF, UTF-8. Now the drives is what I need to change. Select the boot drive, which is my 32 gigabyte SDA. Select that. Disk layout, that's another one. You wanna wipe all, unless you wanna manually partition everything, but you wanna wipe all selected drive and select the partition you want. I'm gonna keep it as ext4. And then encrypt password, I'm gonna keep that as none. Bootloader, also keep it as grub. Uh, if you want swap or not, this is where you would keep it. If you select swap, yes, it'll you know, create the swap drive for you. Host name, this is something you could change if you want to call Arch Linux or something else, that's where you would change it. Root password is not needed if you create account with uh, root user access, but I'm gonna create a root password anyway, just in case. So it's gonna ask me to type it in twice. Uh, same goes for user account. I'm gonna put Don, the password for it, and then the password for it again. Here's the question, should Don be a super user? And yes. If you say no, you could actually change the, by highlighting it again, you could actually promote or demote user. So you could change it again, but I'm gonna keep it as sudo, yes. Profile, here's what you wanna choose. You could choose either desktop, minimal server, or just minimal desktop or minimals graphic, which is xorg. So I'm gonna choose desktop. In here, you could choose a bunch of other selections. So I'm gonna go on and download, um, you know what, I was thinking about KDE, but XFCE probably might be a, light, a little bit faster to install. Once you get that in, depending on the graphic driver you're installing, you can actually do all open source drivers, or for me, it will be VMware because I'm virtualizing this, or if you got Nvidia, whatever, this will be your driver selection for your graphic card. Choose that, kernel, Linux, 
Uh, additional packages, actually I skipped one, audio. I'm gonna choose, you could either choose pipe wire or pulse audio. I'll choose pipe wire for now. I usually choose pulse audio because of uh, RDP, but I'm gonna choose pipe wire for now. Kernel, we're gonna keep on Linux. Additional packages. Now this will install the default desktop to your installation, but it won't actually install any additional packages, even like a browser. So what I would do here is actually install Firefox and that will actually add the additional package of Firefox into my setting. If you have any other programs that you want to install at this time, you would do that. Now, network configuration is important. If you don't do this step right now, uh, when you boot up, you might not even have network at all. So what I do is select this and I'm just going to copy the ISO network configuration. So if you had Wi-Fi set up or if you have Ethernet set up, just do the copy ISO network configuration and it'll copy whatever it has on here. Time zone is UTC unless you want to change it. Optional repositories, I don't have any right now, so I'm gonna leave that blank. And that is it. All you have to do is install. You could also save the configurations for next time, but I'm just gonna hit install. It basically creates this file, hit continue, and the countdown begins. And it's gonna take, like I said, two to three minutes to install this guy. All right. That seriously only took about two minutes. That was really quick, even installing Firefox. I could probably made it a minute and a half if I didn't have to install Firefox. So what we're gonna do here, uh, we just have to hit yes as default, and then now we're done. We could just reboot the machine, and it should bring us right into the desktop of Arch. So here we go, we got the first grub, Arch Linux. I'm gonna have to change the resolution real quick, but this is it, that was all. Uh, my boot up screen came up, my login prompt came in, and there we have it, XFCE. So if I wanted to try something, so if I go in here, let's go to system and change the resolution because I am still on my 1027, I, I forgot, is it 1728 or whatever? Uh, system, office, no, where is it? Settings. Settings manager, display, yeah, there you go, 1024. I'm gonna switch this over to 1080, 60 Hertz, apply and keep this configuration. There we go. And if I wanted my browser, because I installed Firefox, my browser should be able to work. And here, there we have it. That's, that's it, installing Arch Linux now. So if I wanted to do, oh man, I could have installed it at the same time. Uh, NeoFetch, because I don't think I have it. NeoFetch, nope sudo pacman syu and let's get the updated packages neo fetch and root password that is working sudo is working package install is working and neo fetch there we go That wasn't too bad at all. I'm telling you, the install was super quick. It got the desktop fully working to where I wanted to be. I got my Firefox installed. I got most of the systems that I need. When internet is working because we were able to, let's see, ping Google. We're able to ping Google. So that confirms that internet's working. Uh, it's Arch Linux running on XFCE on the latest version, kernels 5.19. Everything's done just in one shot. In conclusion, this actually will bring a lot more people to using Arch itself instead of having to use other flavors like Manjaro or Endeavor OS or something like that. It just helps to have a raw bare metal Arch Linux and it's so easy to install. A lot of times when I used to install it, like I said earlier, I would forget a package or two, which is fine. I could reinstall it, but sometimes I don't remember what packages I need to get something working. And it takes me for a loop and it takes longer to get everything all set up. So having this install script really does help at least get the bare metal going and then you could add on stuff later on like i know if i was to install this on my laptop i wouldn't have tlp i would have to install that later on because the installer will not have that but at least i know the system is functional at best that is it for me guys hope you guys liked this video that is the installer script in a nutshell if you guys have any questions about this hit me up on discord or in the comments down below if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.